Something happened to me when I was performing last year. I uh, not last year, I think a year before. I was in a band in Bobo. And I the following day I was performing at uh, Francis Town. You know? And predominantly uh, black people band. And predominantly white people uh, Francis Town. And that day, because we were getting these uh, gigs, you know, different gigs, and I found myself performing for two different racial groups yeah. and this time we're like they just play them the same song same lineup same song same repertoire 
The song that I'm going to play first in the pop up is the same one I'm going to start with. So I'm not going to switch them up. I'm going to play them exactly. And what we found out is that you guys enjoy the music the same. Everybody, everybody grooved and laughed the music the same way. So the same reaction I got in the pop up was the same reaction I got in St. Francis Town. And I said to myself, why can't we dance together? Yeah. Why can't we be together? I don't want to be performing for you guys in silence. I don't want to be performing for you guys. I want to perform for South Africans. Mm -hmm. I don't want to perform for Black South Africans, Indian South Africans, cannot. White people, because we are all South Africans. Hence the show about it, which is the people. Because that show doesn't be, belong to any ethnic group. The show is for us, for each and every one of us. And this show starts with you guys, because the future of that show belongs to you. That show is a show that needs to impact not only are not only there to just group to six one people, but we are there to network, to have social network, to understand, to also make relationships, cross relationships. You know, understand that there are people in which we can actually get along with who are Indian, who are colored, who are white. That's what the Abandu is. It is a safer space where, as a black person, you're gonna feel safe. As, as a white person, you're gonna feel safe. Colored, Indian, it doesn't matter. For as long as you are there for one for one reason only, and one reason is to unite and really to, to speak and um, and try to address the issue of South Africa in South Africa of us working separately. We will not need uh, transformation for as long as we are transformed, our minds are transformed. And we will never be able to make business together unless we socialize together. Because when we socialize together, we get to know each other. You know? So Abandu, that's what Abandu is. In that show, for you guys to network while you guys are having fun, listen to what people think is. That's basically why, why, why um, I'm doing the show. And I'd like to see each and every one of you guys there. I want to see you guys, I, wanna, I want you guys to travel. I want to see some of you guys somewhere where people say, hey, I'm from, I'm from South Africa. Because you know, the world is like a book. It's like a book. And if you only if you only stay in one space, you only read just one page. Yeah. yeah? And you've got to read all the chapters in the book. So I wanna see that travel. You know? You don't have to look for a job only here. But you you go out there and if but you come back and make this country better. You know? So I would like to take your, your, your questions. You can ask me about anything except my family. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm spiritually stuck to that because I don't want to be, I don't want to be his ex-partner, you know? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be his ex-partner, I want to be his ex-partner, and my wife is so popular, way popular than me, so I don't want to be his ex-partner, I don't want to talk about her, I want to talk about me. Okay, let's go. I'm going to take that three questions. One, two, three, four. Okay. I, just to, I just wanted to ask, like, how can music evolve from making songs like Kupi or Bandwi to the songs you make now, like Mama Telegram and Kosamu? Yeah. All right, let me take that. The second one. Yeah. Um, Mama Telegram, Mama Telegram, Mama Telegram, when last did you play Kento? All right. Because you shared something from me. That's all. I'm stepping the story. Mom used to say to you, Thursday night, Thursday night. Of course. Yeah. Of course. That's right. Of course. <laughs> the dead head was somewhere here. Okay, you change your mind. <laughs> but you, you were dead head, right? Yeah. Um, just, I recently started DJing, and yes. I don't really know what I'm doing because I'm the first in my circle. So, what advice would you give in terms of? Finding your sound and being comfortable behind the deck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you Life, you can take them to evolve. So, so you, when you don't evolve, 
Sing to like a dinosaur song. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got to be able to evolve with your music, with the sound. But how you, how you do that is by how collaboration. You know, that's how I, that's how I do it. Uh, back in, when I, was, when I was very young, when I was like 23, 24, I was in five years old, I used to sit in the studio all on my own. And I would produce music just on my own, produce mix, write music and stuff. You know, sign artists, I would write, I literally write down like the whole, like the first album on my own, I produce and all everything. You know, that's right. You know, I even sang, backing vocals, like I was that involved. Uh, but now I'm older, you know. I'm married now. I can't even be in the studio because my kids want to get them. You know, so the, the idea now is obviously I've, uh, I have so many young people that I'm working with. One of them is now is one of one of the guys that we just now we started to trade a lot today, kind of so. Um, there's another one, in Gregor. You know, it's a very, very first song I played today from Gregor. I have Nana Arts, I have um, at Black Reading. All those guys are, are um, um, 20, they are not, they're, none of them are, is 25 years old, you know? And that's, I think that's what, how my time is evolving. Because I'm learning from them and they are learning from me. But that's just how life is, you know, you've got to be able to learn. And when I was young, I used to hang out with old people. Now I'm older, I'm hanging out with young people, you know? Uh, because as I was young, I was learning from the old people. And now I'm learning from young people. And that's definitely, that's definitely why. If you wanna, if you know, wanna know, why am I sitting in white beds? My son is still so crying because I work with you guys. I work with people like you guys. And I'm here now. I mean, I'm in mean, Cape Town. I could have been anywhere else, but I'm here to connect with you, to hear what you guys talk about, to hear your views. That's definitely what, what makes me a bit maybe different than any other artist because I have time for you. I have time for you. And it also has to do with you from the production, like that's um, to now being more like a group situation. I mean, it's, I mean, I, that's what it does. I mean, when you, when you evolve, that's definitely what happens, you know. With regards to ghetto, yes, the song was a really, it's a very special song. Um, why I sometimes don't play ghetto is because it gets me so emotional. Sometimes, I mean, I've, 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 I've shed a tear a couple of times when I play that record. So sometimes I don't want to touch that because I miss my mom. I miss her so much, you know. And, and, and when I play that song, it always reminds me of her. And I try not to go to that particular direction, not unless I'm playing. If I play ghetto, it hardly ever happens that I don't share a game. So I, I don't wanna be yes, I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna cry. <laughs> so so I try to avoid to play that record, but I mean it's such a beautiful record. You give my mother my mother said drinks delayed and not drinks denied. And I think if she can wake up right now and see what I've achieved, I mean she'll be so proud. Um, um, <laughs> With regards to the sound, and, and I, I love your question when it comes about the tender. You you've got to be you've got to be able to choose what works for you. Don't follow the trend. I did it when uh, I was about to drop Osama. My uh, my, my partners in Universal were like, Ah, don't you want to get a piano guy? I was like, No, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> This is the song, you know. I, I want like this, and I love it. I, 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 and I, and I, I, I said to them, I know the song is dope. Whoever's gonna listen to the song is gonna love it. I don't know if it's a hit record, but all I know yeah. is that anybody's gonna listen to this record would love it, you know. And uh, and I was right, you know. And some of you guys, you don't expect, you don't expect any like a popular sound from me. You expect music, yeah. but it takes this. Because also you have blue teeth. So you do blue teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you do blue teeth. A lot of us, a lot of you guys are able to do that. But, uh, but definitely, so you've got to be able to choose your sound and, and be honest into your sound. Uh, be an artist. Like, I always say this. I can I can make you my piano record. I have two my piano records. I've done the late DJ somebody. And I did another one with Amos. You know, so, so, so. And for me, they felt like good songs. I love them. I, I always open to them and I listen to them and I'm proud of them, you know? Because I can jump on anything that speaks to me, you know? Uh, so, would I make a Mabiano record? Of course, I will make a Mabiano record if it comes to me. But it just doesn't come. Every time I sit down in the studio, Afro House or dance music comes first. Yeah. So I always do it. But basically, that's what happens. I, I don't go into the studio and be like, yo, I want to make it a hit record. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's not that. 
I go to studio and be like, I want to make an amazing music, you know? For, for, I mean, I think, clap your hands, this year is 13 years. Yeah, you know, I'm sure you must be so young. <laughs> 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 and uh, and Ghetto is, um, Ghetto is probably eight years or something like that. Eight, going for 10 years. And the fact that we've we, we talked about Ghetto today, it just tells you how much the sound can really, really, really last, you know? Um, yeah, okay, I, I, I shoot your hand, so let me just take another round of, I'm gonna take one last round, so one last round, and then the next round will go to close, yeah, what's up, brother? Can we just project from brother? What advice do you have for a starting producer? What the, 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 the advice I have for a starting music producer, yes. okay, what's the next question? I'm gonna take four, yeah. Um, so I studied film, and um, film. yeah, so I, I'm very like stressed out about leaving the institution because of networking. <laughs> yeah. So like how do you like find your way into like convincing people to get Is this a final year? No, I'm yeah, in my second year. what's the third question? Oh, there's no third question. Yo, you can um from your album uh Ghetto King. Yes. There's this song that you have. Collaborated with the Unified Cats. With, oh, Unified Cats, yeah. yeah. yeah the song is titled Who's that? Yes. I can ask, what inspired you to write this song? Because the message that is in that song. So. It's amazing, eh? Mm -hmm. Love us, they go. You did. You did. And your sister. I know, I know. But the fourth one? <laughs> You want to to Formally coming to, to school like this, informally go to people who are doing the very same thing, you know, shadow them, uh, have make questions, offer your service for free. You know, uh, offer to be in the studio, to be an engineer, offer to do all of those particular things. But first it has to be it has to be a passion. If it's a passion, it will be different than in this guy. I know a broke lawyer, and I know a, I know a broke musician, I know a broke engineer. Because they, they went to study and you had a law and everything else and they went to about that. You know what I mean? So you'd be like, ah, oh, you know what? I want to I wanna be a doctor because all the doctors are, are, are perhaps uh, uh, rich. But I know broke doctors. 
you know, it's so funny. I, you know, in our industry, obviously there's, there's that ego which is everything you know, now in the you know. I'm the guy that greets everybody. I, I would, I would, when I know you, I will never pretend that I do not know you. I never. Even when I know you from, from, uh, from, from TikTok. I mean, I saw a guy here, which I actually enjoyed his TikTok, you know, but he was, he was leaving. I wanted to go to him. Like, yo! So some musicians, so some musicians will walk backstage. Hey, you know, my China money goes to who has the biggest song. <laughs> you know, whoever make music big is you guys. We don't make music big. All we do is just make music, and you guys decide which is a big record in business. So how am I gonna break up a certain that I can't even control? You know what I mean? So I'll go. If I love the record, I'll go. If if whatever like, I'll be like, yo, I'm sure if if you follow me, you saw like. My piano record that really the little I like right now is, is near by my time. <laughs> I shoot it. I called I I I instant I I I I I said it here. I said, yo, give me your number, bro. I called him, I was like, bro, what you doing is dope. I wanna come to your studio and I wanna check out what is going on in your studio. Because I like what he does. I'm 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 still, I can lend it. That is means that I don't know that I'm afraid, but I know I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was your, what was your, what was your, what was your, 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 your spiritual question? <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's that? Oh, who's that? So guys, who's that? It's, it's on my, uh, my, uh, my album, Girl of King. I think it's track four, from that is they can. To really speak about, I talked about the siblings and your mom's home, you know, and uh, and that, that it gives back to both female and male. And just praying for your mom's home and praying for your mom to really have a longer life because, you know, her home hate life. So it's really like a, a song for a mother's home. And just thanking the womb because without it, you know, so it's really, really, really about it. And uh, there are so many. When I when I made that record with 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 Keta, what if I Keta? The melody I had was was a lot of fun. Was a lot of fun. Which means my mom would give back to me and give back to me. So, uh, I don't know if it's going to be a right now because there's so many people as well. But basically, that's what, that's what, that's what it, it is about. It's about really about that. And I, I love that record. It's actually one of my, my favorite records on, on, on the album. I wanted to make it a single, but my team said no. Like they said, I shouldn't play this record together. And, I and I'm sure right now they're going to shout it. I don't have to you, you just sing the song. But it's your control. Yep. Yes,
How do you feel that your alumni was here at your alma mater? What is it? It's not. This is not your alma mater because you've been been I mean like a crowned as a graduate, right? Yeah. So it's still a student, right? You guys are both alumni of the right? Yeah, same high school. Yeah. When a current student, he came to visit you basically, right? Basically, yeah. That's yeah. Really, yeah. So how do you feel? Very happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, why, why, why did it, wait, no, why, yeah, why did you emphasize that you're from Mamagazo? Because he had to know who's never from the same high school. Why uh, much? Because no one like actually number one from the same high school. It's an achievement, yeah, it's an achievement. You have to know. How did you come here? I'm to Good to you can't come from Navaga Zulu's like, hey, you see, it's sure, Jal, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is that true? No, I don't think it's true. But it's, it's but partially true. It's partially true. It's, it's about knowing what you want. Okay. Yeah, and putting okay. in the time, effort, work, and like, yeah. Because now I'm calling you. Oh, call. Yeah. Okay. You feel like we're dreamland, like, no? <laughs> Okay, fly, okay, fly, okay, fly, okay, fly, okay, fly. Okay, I mean, uh, I'm a sort of bad man. I'm a sort of bad man. The center of the university, basically. Okay, I'm going to go to the center. 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 Oh, same province, yeah. different schools, different yes. locations, yeah. same course, yes. different hats. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay.